It's Japan time. A A A A A A A A A. Now you might see that everyone else is muted. That's because they wouldn't shut up and let me start the podcast. So I'm gonna unmute them now in three, two. Oh look, you guys are unmuted. How did you do shutting up? Nick, you're terrible. We told you. We told you not to do that, Ninja. We told you. What? What a mess. (laughs) You guys wouldn't shut up, so I had to. Anyway, you could have been quiet. quiet. When have you ever been one to fucking do anything by the books? You could have just recorded it by by any point. Just started an intro somewhere. I could have, but I wanted you guys to shut up for a second and let me intro us. Us polite, so you can start, but nobody gives a fuck. Like, I can't just Nobody start cares. it midway in. No one cares, I Nick. need an end. No one cares. I need an end to get into the no. conversation. Yes. You make your own end. Make it. I did by muting all of you fucks. <laughs> this is the most aggressive start we've ever had. Hey, everybody. I like uh, this. I don't uh, regret it. Don't it's worry. Attention's a lot and You're I going to regret this. it in a few minutes. Welcome to the horribly named Super Fun Japan Time Time Fun Time whatever the fucking bullshit Nick decided to make it. Hey, you agreed uh, to podcast. it. <laughs> I just gave you Super Fun Japan Time me. as a fucking joke. You piece of shit. <laughs> and now it is. Good job. You bored I, yourself. I, I, anyway, welcome I to say. the podcast. We have a fucking guest. Whoa, that's crazy. Who is it? I wonder. Who hasn't been on the well. podcast before? Oh, wait, no. We have two guests, yeah. technically. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say, man. Guests. <laughs> hey, guests, introduce yourselves. I'm not a guest because I'm technically here all the time. You don't do just anything. Here. You're still technically a guest. You are the guest. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a quiet person who is part of the podcast most of the time. All right, He's let's go for it. A- we can promote and, uh, him to junior member. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to fucking, you have to work some hours before we can upgrade you. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm the one who um, started I'm... ASP. Whatever. But okay. this isn't even an ASP production. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. It technically is. It's Japan no, it's... time. <laughs> okay. Everyone now shut actual... up and get back to the point. Our actual guest, please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Time Lord Gamer, a uh, host and creator of the show Time Lord Gamer Show. We just reached 500 subscribers, and I'm pretty proud of what we've done. Congratulations! Your single-handedly greater your YouTube channel is single-handedly greater than all of ours combined. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry, guys. With a lot of hard work, you'll get up here. Trust me. But that's it's a long way hard work. Great <laughs> you think any of us are fucking? You know, have enough motivation to do that. I'm a lazy asshole. Fuck like that. Editing? No way. <laughs> wait, wait, what's the definition <laughs> of a lazy asshole compared to an active one? Like, is an active um, asshole actively shitting out stuff? Or is... An active asshole is kind of like a person at work that makes it his fucking, like, entire life's purpose to fucking annoy you. Whereas a lazy asshole is like someone you get annoyed with just because they don't do anything. <laughs> Ian, stop so a Republican and a Democrat, essentially. <laughs> exactly. Essentially, uh, uh, I predict a lot of political jokes this week, but I have a feeling. All right. So, I know Mr. Timor Gamer from our school and invited him today, and he has been so gracious to join us on this shit stain of the internet. I know he exists. Yep. Yeah, I've worked I know with him you in before person. in some quite amazing videos that are the fucking man versus machine. That was something. We they never did fun. beat that. We never did beat that. We never did. We never did. We need to beat it sometime. <gasps> Maybe we could do that for the 500 time. special. Maybe. For the 500 video. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Why not call it the fun 100 special? I mean, that would be more apt for a 100, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, true. Maybe maybe when you guys uh, do it, I could help. Yeah, sure. All right. Sure, why not? The fun hunt. Right, I'm, so... Anyway. I'm, I'm, pl- I'm planning on trying my hand at animation again for, like, my 100th video, maybe. I'm not sure. I just have to remember <laughs> how to use Flash, and I have to get Flash. Huh. 
So and getting I a guess, tablet would uh, probably help. Getting a drawing pad would probably help too. Yeah, that would sound good. Whatever. So let's do move on week. to the fucking weekly oblig- obligatory. Excuse what, me. What the hell did I just second. say, Iggy? What? I just said. It's on. What did we all do this week? Did you? Because all right, yes, yeah, so I, I did. Don't give a fuck what so, you say. So <laughs> well, yay! Everybody gets to explain what they did this week. Starting off with the guest because the guest go. No, he's gonna have the, the most interesting one. Is I he? Don't, yeah, that's what. That's why yeah, I we, guess. Start, we start off high and we go down low. That's no, 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 no. We save him. Save for the last. best for last. Yeah, so that way people will have to watch through the rest of story. us. I mean, there is yeah, no so functions. You don't have to watch for the rest of us. You upload this to YouTube, and they can skip. All right. I'm not gonna put timestamps in. You kidding me? That's what the fucking they like. Don't have first, to put the time, they don't have to look at the timestamps. There's so just one freaking... brave soul that watches through it, and that's probably Ark. And he fucking like, here's where the interesting bits are. Skip to this and stop here. I'll just put timestamps <laughs> in the description. Like, yeah, in oh, the yeah. comments. All this other parts are shit. Here's the one good minute of it. Those I'm are the unsung hero hour of our world. world. Just, just give me the file and I'll edit this myself, okay? How about You're that? You're going take out I all our voices it. except your own? <laughs> so <it's actually> good. <laughs> no. No, it would make it better. Okay. It probably honestly would. But, alright, since we don't want a guest to go first, I guess Nick goes first. His week's probably not interesting. Actually, well no. then. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Go, Nick. All right. Fuck it. Why not? So Netflix is a pretty cool platform for watching things on the internet, right? Oh my god. <laughs> you get two sentences. That was your one. That was one of your two. Wait, go. what? Why only two sentences? <laughs> this We're is busy. Because it's your it's your second to act. It, there's supposed to be more content than the D and D. Come on. You will go on. Netflix has time. nothing compared to blockbusters. <laughs> blockbusters aren't even fossils anymore. They've been fucking crushed <laughs> to dust. <laughs> All right. You know, we s- anyway we had one discussion about blockbusters. Actually, those things are like ancient relics. I mean, not oh, part- not really. I mean, they, I mean, they sell video games, I guess. So that's current. they used to. They're dead. Completely dead. They're right? They kill them, states, right? Blockbusters. Had, I've I've only ever seen a Blockbusters like once in the last year, and I don't even remember where that was. It was probably vacant and dead, and no one just bought the property because it's like an Indian burial ground. My uh, grandfather used to take me to Blockbusters every weekend. It was either Blockbusters or Hollywood Studios. And every time we would go out to get a movie, I would always ask him to see if we could buy the popcorn because they had a deal that if you buy a special packet of popcorn, you get the six-pack for free. And my grandfather then told me that here in America, nothing is ever free. You're either paying extra for the popcorn or someone else is paying for it. So we never got popcorn with our movies. That's a very harsh philosophy. Oh, Damn. Well, I mean, it's not wrong, but it's very harsh, especially for a kid. Way to bring the serious. I expected (laughs) something fun, like you saw like a turtle humping a shoe, but no, that went that went deep. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I thought I thought this was a podcast. I I was trying to participate. (laughs) No, no, that was that's participation. That's that was really that was participating. But that was excellent. At any of our previous podcasts. We don't. We don't honestly never get that deep. I mean, like, our <laughs> during really that one four-hour podcast, we got kind of loopy, <laughs> and just like we were saying whatever yeah, the fuck came to mind. That's straight. Just like straight loopy. Like that. For, in all seriousness, like he, I, like that seems like something. I mean, S- silly throw out. We could expand upon that, but I feel like no one else is going to be interested. Like I really love philosophy oh. and just logical things. So I would I expand upon that, but I feel everyone else would be bored as hell. So, Nick, continue with your week. What the fuck were you even talking about? So Netflix Well, he has free. one more sentence. <laughs> Can I repeat it the wisely. first make sentence? It, make it That was a second. <laughs> done. Nick's no. done. All right. No. Dominic, no. go. <laughs> no. 
All right, All right. so Dominic has no, no limit because he has <laughs> self limits. You're not the <laughs> fucking host here. We're the hosts. Damn it! Shut up. All right, so I watched two shows that are like 13 episodes long, but each episode's an hour each. The first one, oh yeah, both are Netflix originals. Ooh ah, Tang Tang Walla Walla Bing Bang. The first one is House of Cards. Season Seems four very was amazing. Like holy shit. They did so many good things with the show. Uh, uh, this is like killing was... your favorite character. Yeah, they killed off my favorite <laughs> character. And they did it in a way that actually made sense. Which makes it even worse. And the worst part is that they were starting to build them up even more than they had in the past. Like, this character's been around for quite a while. And they've All right, that's added a lot of, of character to him. But... I didn't even notice that they were doing this, but they were making me remember, like, all the good things that he's done without explicitly being like, oh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Be a shame Spoiler if he would warning, die. No, it's a he. I mean... Uh, uh, this sure. is what I was talking about. <laughs> we're supposed to go into detail on a podcast, Christopher. Yeah, but do you remember, like, two podcasts ago where we went to fucking 30-minute detail about... 30-minute detail about songs? That oh, wasn't good. Speaking of which, was, that, was I uh, was I here uh, for that one? No, you were not. Thank God. Thank, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say thank yeah. the Lord, because you got I fucking mean, lucky. The one stop mega mix super Eurobeat for running nonstop. Oh gosh, damn! Is pretty great. It's seven hours long. And the other thing you watched is Daredevil. Yes, Daredevil meme, which I don't know how I feel about it to be honest like I definitely liked it but I don't know do you think like, it dared to be devilish <laughs> like it was very <laughs> was it better than the movie <laughs> <laughs> but there was a daredevil movie Yeah, there was a daredevil movie and it sucked and nobody wants to remember now, it now was so it don't... worse than spawn, <laughs> what is spawn I don't even I don't even know I haven't even I know there was a Spawn movie, and that was also bad. Oh, it I was, no was it memeable. memeable. It was decently memeable. Depends on which one you're talking about, Daredevil or Spawn. Spawn was basically a meme. A really <laughs> bad meme. <laughs> you should just, like, Google the Spawn movie CGI. It's fucking horrendous. Yeah, like, but... The I mean... Devil's basically a sock puppet. What sock time? puppet? What time was the movie made, though? You gotta, you gotta take this. For its case. time, it was horrible. It's worse now. It... Well, of course, it's it worse looks like now. A video game. Back then. It yes. looks like video it, game graphics. It looks like a bad PS One game. Is it a bad PS One game or? A it's a movie. movie. <laughs> it's a legitimate movie. Someone in Hollywood approved that. And they will never approve it again. Nope. Fuck superhero movies. So, so yeah. Memeable. Like, what the if they approve hell? another freaking Fantastic Four movie. Alright, Nick. The, the, so, just yeah. Stop. Daredevil. The scorpion from The Mummy looked better. Jesus. Yes. Oh, yeah. Damn. Calling them out. So, Nick, yes, did you do watched, anything else of interest? Uh, I played a fuck ton of DFO. Like, I'm currently leveling three characters now, like, using up all their fatigue points. That is Dungeon Fighter Online, for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> yes. Which you can now find the Freedom Friday for on Nick's channel, ooh. I wasn't going to mention it, but thanks for the self-plug. On my own channel. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're already there fucking anyway. But, like, let's say, you know, someone happens to stumble upon this for, like, for some godforsaken reason, like, two weeks from now or so. They wouldn't know. Well, honestly, no, like, you know, there's always there's always going to be those really, really messed up, like, fans that are just going to be like, you know what? I'm a fan of this guy, so I'm going to go back to Arc. his early work. <laughs> no, but, like, but no, not like, you know, if, if if this ever takes off, like, you know, like how time will <laughs> he has 500 subscribers. By the way, this plane is never taking off. We're, like, at the bottom of the ocean already, all right? But if it ever does, <laughs> some fucker is going to be like, their stuff now is decent. I'm going to go back and watch watch their old stuff and just slowly move up to now because I'm bored. 
gonna go. They're gonna go. They're gonna walk. I've, I've thought about doing that. It's just like old stuff is just. There's a reason it's old. You see, yeah. Are, at least my old content is still good. Oh well then. Can you say your first video that you ever put on YouTube was any good? No, it's shit. No. Yes. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no,
Is this a reference yeah. to something? No. The awkward moment when you ask your wife to rule the galaxy with you and she says no one dies. What? That's Star Wars. Yep. I had a feeling. Alright, so that... Is there any real specific reason why you decided to do the whole face cam thing? Or... No, I just was like, you know, I've seen PBG do it, Jontron do it, why the hell not? I'm a okay. freshman in high school. I have nothing to lose, guys! Yeah! I'm the cool kid! <laughs> oh my, yeah. yeah, you oh. did it! You showed okay. your face! Yeah, Whoa! Of, Whoa. I'm gonna be Whoa. part of the big boys! Oh. Oh, One dude. more thing yeah. before we continue on with the weeks. By the way, we're still on that. Fucking... Yeah. Uh. YouTube is actually such an interesting thing for our generation. Because if we make content now, it's kind of like what people used to do with time capsules. We get to see a part of ourselves, you know, 50 years from now. We look back and see awkward teenagers in high school making video game content. <laughs> but are you going to seriously go back to your old YouTube channel when you're Heck like... yeah, I'm going to. I want to know how bad I was in high school 50 years from now. It's like, if I'm alive and haven't died of a, you know, a heart attack or spontaneous combustion, I am going to look back and cringe as hard as I've ever cringed. I'm gonna cringe so loud, people in China are gonna cringe. <laughs> That's a lot of cringe. It will be the cringening. The cringening of 20 whatever year. Oh, yeah. That would be 20, 2056 or 2066. Also, Froggy. Big the Cat. Froggy. I watched a Let's Play of Sonic Adventure. By the runaway guys. <laughs> what a Froggy, mess. Froggy, where what you go? Froggy. Froggy. Like, also, as soon as, like, I don't know if it's related, but as soon as you fucking started talking about Big the Cat, the fucking internet connection for this call fucking dropped. Is it like <laughs> seven? <laughs> it's the curse. It it Run away. Froggy is super fucking. <laughs> I've also been Froggy, playing Sonic Adventure. Froggy, what'd you do to the internet? I've been Every playing... time someone says Froggy, my fucking call lags. Stop Froggy. it. <laughs> Froggy. Froggy. No, it's happening. What I hear is Froggy, yep. and then it cuts for like three seconds. We have Come to on. say Froggy at the end of every sentence now. It's so like I think my year was pretty know. good. Froggy. You say it in the middle of the sentence, so he loses. You say it in the middle of the sentence, so he loses the last half. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. So yeah, I've also so been like, playing Sonic Adventure Froggy 2. That was not even the middle, you fuck. Yeah, it's close It's kind of balanced out. That was so like he's cool. going to have right. a... There you go, like... that's your fucking week. Now we can finally move on wait, to the wait, fucking wait, wait, second wait, wait, week. Wait, 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 hold up. I've also been playing Warframe and Hearthstone uh, okay. and Nick, Overwatch. Hey, Nick, we can should... you just shut up hey, now, hey, please? Hey, guys, we should... Can we should... Can you can 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 you can 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 we should... We should... We should... We should... We're never gonna get to you. Okay, Nick, just shut up now. Okay, just shut up. We let me... We We should... If you let me edit this, I can easily turn this into three, four different podcasts, and you can separate it in a <laughs> in like... <laughs> sure. I mean, sure. in all honesty, we, we have done that. Like, I mean, we've made, like, fucking four-hour-long podcasts, seven-hour-long streams. Can you even call them podcasts? At that point? Yes, okay. they are we podcasts. Need remember, remember when we did... have short attention spans. <laughs> remember I mean, when we... We, just, we just go, and we just kind of stop whenever we fucking fall asleep. Remember when we played Civ in space for like all night? Oh my gosh! And I, and I won at the very end, and I literally just passed out afterwards. I, I don't know if we've talked about this on the podcast. So I didn't short know story. Uh, one time, I thought it was a good idea to set up a live stream in which fucking me, Nick, Yo. Chris, and Ian would play Civilization Five, which was free on Steam for that weekend. No, not no, not Civ Five, the one in space. Beyond, beyond Earth, Earth, I think. The yeah. Civ Beyond Earth. Whatever the fucking, it's shit. I luckily dodged that shit. So, <laughs> great. Oh, gosh. Everyone's... I don't know why. I don't know why. I was fucking busy or something. And yeah, I didn't... you didn't show up. So, it was me, Nick, and Ian. Oh, we all played Civilization Beyond Earth. And it lasted several hours into the morning. It started somewhere Damn. around midnight. 
and the sun was up by the time we were finishing. I actually stopped playing because my game broke and I couldn't see anything. And I just started playing World of Warcraft for the first time. Damn. And then it was just oh, and then it was just me and Nick versus each other, and, and I won event, and I won at the end. I didn't know there was a turn. Actually, limit. there was. I don't think. Oh wait, did you win at the end? I think you did win. You did. Yeah, I did. I won at five forty-seven in the morning. I still remember the time for some reason. Wow. And unfortunately, but, that. But got what is the powerhouse of the cell? Can you remember that? Mitochondria. Hey, that was a question for Ian, Nick. So oh, you well then. The fuck up. I, I didn't I even hear the question. Oh, say it then. We need a different question now. <laughs> so. Um. I don't fucking know. Alright, so. Yeah. What's the, so what's the science what is question? the difference between a for loop and a while loop? The fuck are either of those? I know. That's exactly what I was about to say. Seriously. You see, a for loop combines even... all I of its care. control loop variables and all everything concerning that into one statement, while a while loop has it spread out across the entire loop. I never all learned right. that in Java. Alright, so Dominic, what how was your what did you do this week? Finally if you want the to... fucking second one. Alright. Me? Fucking yeah, sure you? I played a shit ton of Guild Wars. I <laughs> fucking been studying for a college final and that's literally it been playing video games oh you know what i watched one thing of interest i watched erased in its entirety okay Wait, which it is finished okay. yes as of today so erased is basically a murder mystery anime about a dude who can fucking kind of jump through time by the way gonna say this up front that was never fucking explained how he was able to do that so don't go looking for an explanation. And it's really, oddly, it's a compelling show. I don't know why, but it keeps you entertained. I'm usually not even one for murder mystery. And that's basically all I did. Short, sweet, to the point. Go anyone else. All right. Let's go, Ian. Uh, let's see. Been trying not to fail my classes so I can graduate this year and not recording all that much. That's pretty much it. The guy who apparently uploads the most. The guy who uploads the most is currently the one in the, the most trouble of fate of not pass of not graduating from high school. That's the word. Shut up. Hey. Hey. So Chris, hey. tell us how you're not failing. In um, honors. Well, you know, you know, uh, I and I honestly haven't done. I honestly haven't done much. I went to California. California, the lower half of spring break, which is why nothing happened. And then for the entirety of this, for the rest of this, for this school week, I just kind of played games. Well, considering you're the only one who did anything interesting, what'd you do in California, Chris? Wow, that's uh, fucking insulting to the guest. Not Ouch. much. That we know not so much, far. Anyway. Really. There not you much. Go. I went to the each. I also I played I played a shit ton of Pokemon Yellow. Did you unlock Pikachu's Beach? I did unlock Pikachu's Beach, and I'm shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is, they don't even you know I, it's an older game, so it has like zero fucking instructions on what you're supposed to do. It's just like hey, you just like talk to this guy, and he's like. <gasps> Yours can do it, and then boom, you're in the fucking mini game. Wait, you're in the fucking Pikachu's Beach Morris mini game. I'm like, what the what? fuck? Wait, what does he say? I I don't I forget exactly what he said, but something on the lines of oh, yours can do it, and then you're just fucking dropped into the freaking Pikachu Beach mini game. Which, by the way, it's just Pikachu on a surfboard, and then there's these waves that come in varying sizes that you just go off of. And then you, you're supposed to use the left and you're supposed to press left and right to make him do tricks. And as you, you know, know more tricks, you can... I want that framed in bronze. Yours can do it. <laughs> so that is a motivational that, that quote a, that will last throughout the ages. That was a that was fun, and I quick and I've and I quickly found out one of the most broken ways to actually just 
storm through everything. <laughs> because in 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 that generation, the move mechanics were different. And so if you use rap, your opponent can't do shit. Use rap so, or any so other essentially you have rap battles? Use the move rap or any other move like it, like clamp or fire spin, your opponent can't do anything. And that literally makes Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite the most OP motherfuckers in the game. Well, yeah. It literally just locks <laughs> just fuck them you. in place. They can't. It's oh, impossible. sure. You want to do something? Uh, I'll just fucking use agility. Now Dragonite's faster than anything you have. And then I'll wrap you into... It's, I'll wrap you until you're a little low, under half health, and then I'll hyper beam you. Hyper beam also has a hyper beam also has a slight change in that generation where if you use it to KO an, impo an opponent's Pokemon, your Pokemon doesn't have to recharge. Well, balance. I feel like that. I mean, that does change there, but I feel like that might have been a bug. So yeah, wrap them down to nearly under half health, and then just fucking hyper beam, and then boom. So essentially, you tie them down and shoot them. Yeah, that's a pretty apt so, description. That's how you win Pokemon Yellow by doing jack shit. <laughs> All right. Anything else of interest? Uh, Bless you. Thank you. Uh, Got to turn that down. Nothing uh, else in particular. Yeah. No, no, nothing. Oh yeah, All I right. got a bloody nose from sneezing today. That was fun. Good job Good for you. Very proud. Congratulations. I'm the best. So now time, time for Lord. probably the most interesting one. Hype it up. Watch I have like one sentence. Hype it up so you can just say I ate a taco. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's open. Um, it's quite a long story actually, uh, and um. Uh, Iggy, should I change some names? Should I change some names around? Um, I or think to I protect just... the quote-unquote innocent, maybe changing some names would be okay. Okay, so it all began last year, right? Um, last year, I liked this girl. We'll just name her uh, Christy or something. I don't know. Um, you have a video you know, of this Christy. on your channel, don't you? Yes, but I'm explaining it here to you guys because, quite frankly, um, I've been through quite a lot and i want to tell you guys this you know personally yep. so there was this girl i liked named last year i'll call christy okay so uh, uh jake told me that he was dating christy so i never talked to her because you know i didn't want to do anything bad to ruin that relationship uh this year however she was able to sit next to me in math class and we were able to talk and uh, I found out through Christy that um, that she never dated him, that uh, Christy and Jake never dated. So as I talked to her more and more, I realized that I liked her. And I asked her to see Star Wars Episode Seven with me and a couple of my friends uh, the night of the premiere. It was going to be at one of those uh, dine-in movie theaters. Uh, she said yes, and to be honest, I was excruciatingly happy. Uh, however, I found out three days later that the day before, this uh, dickwad, who I'm going to call uh, the, uh, the uh, hmm, what should I call him? Um, Quad's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll Dick call him good. It's the, pretty the F boy. Okay, so so. So the F I mean, boy, you can curse right. here. I mean, we, I unless you're just actually okay, so shortening down. Boy. Unless you're actually just shortening so down for like boy. fucking ease. Yeah. All right, there you go. The, the, the fuck boy um, uh, f asked her out the day before I uh, invited her to see the movie, and they immediately started dating. Uh, I decided that I wouldn't do anything funny that day because, you know, I have a sense of morality, right? If uh, someone's in a relationship or someone's trying to get in a relationship, I shouldn't disrupt that. I shouldn't do anything that could destroy it. So I decided not to do anything. However, she was not able to come because uh, she had an anxiety attack and her mother didn't want her to um, leave the house. 
so of course I was sad and hurt by this a little bit and um, I I couldn't help but think that I caused this attack and I was um I I, I was angry at myself uh, I was told by a lot of people that for some reason the relationship would end by the end of 2015 and I didn't know uh, the fuck boy's true colors because I kind of met him once once for like a brief few minutes and he seemed like an okay guy turned out uh that's not the case and and i'll tell you why soon so i i became friends with christine christy christine i don't care and um chris and we talked a lot we shared a lot we did a lot of good stuff we shared and quite frankly those were the good times okay i will remember those times for a very very long time however on february 1st around that time uh, another guy who I'm going to call the loser, right, comes in and uh, tries to steal Christine from the fuckboy. Uh, uh, this led to a chain of events which resulted in him punching a hole in the wall of the boy's bathroom and uh, him getting suspended. Now, Christine was very, very sad by this. She was very hurt. She was crying out. I was with her during the time. I could see how much pain she was in, how much pain he caused her. And I told her all the reasons, all the reasons why he wouldn't break up with her. She's a great person to talk to. She has wonderful eyes. She has beautiful, beautiful eyes. Her eyes are like the cosmos. Okay, you can hire the best astronomers on Earth to chart those eyes and every time they would discover something new. And her smile is so warm, it can melt icebergs. So I told her how much of an awesome person she was. And if the fuckboy didn't see any of that, then quite frankly, he doesn't deserve her. They broke up and uh, she was utterly devastated by this. And this was so incredibly sad. I was heartbroken by this because... I didn't know why. Like it it wasn't her fault. It was it was the loser's fault. Why would she be punished for something the loser did? So I continued talking to her, trying my best to get her spirits up. And uh we went to Einstein's we and I decided that I would buy one of those cloth hearts, right? That are usually filled with chocolate. She hates chocolate. It hurts her throat, especially the white ones. So I gutted out the chocolate, and I put in her two favorite snacks that I knew of at the time, which was uh, Cheez-Its and Skittles. Um, and at and you guys know that I sell Nuka-Cola at school from the game Fallout, right? Like Nuka-Cola? Yeah. It's yeah. a real blast. Pretty delicious. But, um, and... So her favorite at the time was the Nuka-Cola Quantum. I would then have a note written by Deadpool surrounding it. And the note would say, Dear Doc, which was the name I gave Christine at the time. Um, she, it says something like, Meet us at the rendezvous at 1800 hours to the showing and the movie of the showing to a dinner and a showing to the movie Deadpool. P.S. Dressed to Kill, Sincerely Deadpool. And it had this little caricature of Deadpool at the corner saying, hey, 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 that's a pretty sweet deal. Not saying because it's my movie or anything. I, I thought it would be a little comical, you know, something, something a little slightly childish, but quite serious, you know, something, something um, cute, something cute. However, I find out on Wednesday that the fuck boy and Christine got back together. And so uh, I decided not to do it. A lot of my friends, however, told me to just put it in a regular T-Mobile bag, like, you know, the stuff that's in the heart, in a regular T-Mobile bag, and ask her nonchalantly to be my valentine. I didn't want to do it because, once again, I have a sense of morality. I don't, I don't want to break the bro code. I don't want to do it. Even though he devastated her heart, even though, like, he – ruined her i i didn't want to do it and um i didn't i didn't do it uh however president's day i find out that they broke up and it was a big huge breakup um 
it, uh, she was once again sad. She was hurt. And I found out later, not that, not during this night, but I found out later that he was flirting with three other women and got drunk with his ex. Oh, shit. I know. Disgusting. It is this is uh, high school, by the way. Horrible. So. Yep. And this is high school, and this kid, this kid is like sixteen or something. He he looks like a freaking ape, but he's he's sixteen. But um, so she was completely heartbroken, and you know what? I I felt terrible. I felt terrible. So then, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I decided to ask her to be my Valentine through Snapchat the video, and I showed her the bag and what was in the bag. You know what? I think I know what I was thinking. I was thinking that if if I didn't do it now, I wouldn't have the guts to do it later. And if I did find the guts to do it again, then someone else would have already taken her, you know, or or they would have gone back together, which would have been horrible, horrible. Or it would just straight up been been too late. And the next and then she replies with uh, I need to think about this for a while. <sighs> And uh, the next day I go up to her, I give her the bag, and then I then tell her that I've liked her since last year. I tell her that she's a great, amazing artist. I tell her how much of a wonderful person she is. I tell her that she's, I just tell, I just tell her a lot of these personal things that I th thought, I thought were true about, was true about her, but We'll get to that later. Uh, she stood there for like two minutes, right? Oh, by the way, what I did tell her that I remember clearly is that I told her that I knew that she wasn't flawless. That, no, 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 I, that's not what I meant. Uh, I told her that I know that she thinks she's not flawless, that she's not perfect. But Christine, we're all flawed. We're all not perfect. The stars are flawless. A snowflake in Flagstaff is flawless. However, Christine, I think you're perfect. After I said that, she stood there for a good two minutes, right? Good, good two minutes. And then she walked away with her friend and then said, don't worry, it's not because of you. Later that week, she blocks me on Snapchat, on Facebook, and she straight up stopped talking to me. And for like a good month and a week, I was... I was in a really dark place. I was in a really, really, really dark, dark place. I was depressed, self-hating myself. I was really down the drain. Like if you saw me at the time, you would have seen a complete and total mess. So I haven't gone on my YouTube channel for a good few months. And I wanted to let my subscribers know that I didn't forget about them. So I made this nice little animated video summarizing the whole thing. Which, and, uh, um, by the way, did you animate all that? Yes. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I did. It, it took me an hour to do a minute, just only because it was so emotional. I had, if you listen closely, you could hear some of the audio bits sound kind of off. That's because I had to re-record them because I was crying. Ah. And, 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 you know, and it was just, oh, it was a complete, I was a complete mess. Then the fans. My fans started commenting. They started talking. They started telling me these awesome things about me. They started giving me advice on what to do. They, they were helping. They were very, very helpful. And all these subscribers gave me the courage and the guts again to talk to her this week on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I talked to her to see what's up, what's going on, why she blocked me, et cetera, et cetera. One lunch period later, she agrees to unblock me. We were supposed to go to Dutch Brothers today, and we started talking again like old times. Things things were going great again. Things were go looking up so fantastically, and uh, she was very reciprocal to what I told her the month before. Things were going great. Now, the loser and the fuckboy from earlier in the story, they got jealous on how much success I finally got. 
So then they come up with this big elaborate lie about me. I don't know what this lie is, but I know it was from them, and I know it's a lie. They come up with this big elaborate lie, and they tell her this lie, and she she blocked me again across the board, and she didn't even give me a trial. She didn't even talk to me about it. She didn't even let let my point of view come across, and and then today. In fact, the loser, right, the loser, came up and punched me behind the back. I didn't even see it. I didn't even stand a chance. He punched me on the back really hard, though, really hard. Like, this guy's big. This guy, I don't know what he's eating, but this guy was big, and he hit me really, really hard. The sad Why didn't you tell the teachers? I did. Uh, I did. Okay. And he got suspended. And... um. And uh, to be honest, I don't know what they did, but I think I lost her forever. And you know what? I hope that she can find a happy guy, a jolly guy, a guy smarter, much better looking, stronger than me to make her happy. And I hope she finds him soon because obviously... Obviously, I'm not that um, I'm not that guy. Apparently, I'm not good enough. So that's been my two. How long this has been going on since November? Essentially, most of my year. I can honestly say that's the most serious. Well, thing we've had on the <laughs> podcast. Not to, not to make light of that. That is definitely the longest week you've ever had. Yeah, yeah. That was that was something. That was. Something. So no. So time, time lord. Let me just quickly say something. Uh, this is probably just me thinking, hopeful talk and all. But like, um, if she hears, I think that if she hears about what happened, about him just punching you like that for no apparent reason, that she's going to realize that they lied to her, and maybe you'll get back together. I don't know. This is probably just me doing hopeful talk. I don't well, know, but I well, hope you guys get back together. Well, I I think he was. I think somebody showed him the video I made, and that probably what got him angry. But either way, physical violence shouldn't be the answer. He should have done it more diplomatically. You know what I mean? But quite honestly, I don't know. Of course, He's, that's uh, the, the rational man's thinking. I yeah, agree, but he should totally burn in hell. Gone. That guy should totally burn in hell, though. I that, mean, that's the that, and it's, that and it's, it's the unfortunate problem. With video games nowadays, kind what? Like, you know, video. I mean, We're video game. Video games now. Listen, listen. It's not like a fucking thing. It's not like a whole thing. But like, in most video games now, usually, pe- usually peaceful means aren't a fucking option. <laughs> hey, you show. Hey, you show up, you're like, all right, hey, I'm part of the good guys, and we're here to do good things, and then the people are like. Yeah, no, we're gonna fight you. And I mean, it's, it's like, like uh, oh, it's kind of like civilization, like, you know. Fucker. You can settle matters diplomatically, or the other guy might be Gandhi, and he just says, "Fuck you, I'm gonna nuke you." Which, by the way, nuclear Gandhi is amazing. Does uh, no one know about this? No. Uh, yeah. You- like, there's like a, it's just a whole fucking thing that like Gandhi is like the Gandhi is actually they made they completely screwed with what gandhi did because you know gandhi was like the peaceful guy but he's like the leader of civil of like he's a war yeah and he and in the in the game you know they're just like they they don't actually have any historical representation so he's a fucking warmonger all right he will nuke your ass all right <laughs> so uh, you, want, you want peace no back to the uh what you just said back to the, back there's to the super one thing story. i really like about this story and that is when you made the animated video about that, you know, that was a much darker time. All your fans did leave you a ton of positive comments. And I saw those. There was a lot of them, like, even the day you posted it. And that kind of shows the coolness of YouTube and how, you know, someone can just post what's going on and so many people are willing to help with just words. That's a YouTube I know occasion. they're they're really really great, and to be honest, I should be more concentrated on them 
because you know she punished me without giving me at least some say which like without me giving me a chance with she without a prayer and these fans have been so supportive so great so kind i need to go back to them and make my channel great again upload great content God. <laughs> come on you had Show to them throw that in there. I, I ha I'm serious because they are so fantastic. And one, wow. once a subscribe, well, once you have a fan base, they are the best things that you can possibly have, and you will love them. That, you have, uh, I, I do. I do that do. is that is true. The only we have thing like, you won't uh, like I, we have like uh, what's it two like very faithful followers for um, some fucking reason to our streams no, like we're terrible and we know this and we admit it on like every stream and like but we have these two followers and you know after everything's said and done after you know the streams have stopped we're just like you know it's really cool of those guys to just stick around like it makes us feel good that there's just someone there kind of supporting us yeah Really so yeah, shout out to yeah. Ark and Ice and Shadow. Those two are pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just, just a quick thing about streaming. Are we going to do D and D tonight or not? Because it's getting kind of late. Uh, probably tonight. not tonight. Probably tomorrow. We have a long weekend. Which, by the way, uh, to date this, this is a. I should have done this really fucking earlier. It is the twenty fifth of March, twenty sixteen. Meaning this is the Easter weekend. It's yes. also twelve twenty-seven at night. Yeah, I think this weekend is going to be excellent. I, I shut up. I made that <laughs> my shell. Money up your ass. You suck. you suck. That was that was bad, dude. That was, I got that some was extra bad. ones if you want. Damn it! <laughs> I've I'm not reached to... into the excesses of my backlog. I yet. will. I will egg exterminate you. Oh, are you hopping mad? Uh, fucking shove some hair. No, but I sure am cracking. This is happening right now. <laughs> you hey, know hey guys, what you, are you, you chicken? Don't oh. be big. You guys want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! While we let them just handle this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you will give me an egg. Is what you should be saying right now. Is that a saying? You will give me an egg? Yes, by the famed Albert Wesker in Resident Evil 5. Don't you be an will egghead. give me an egg. Um... So yeah, yeah, I I was out. 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 Isn't wow. Resident Evil just a fucking joke out. at this point? Like, it yeah. exists. And like, people, well, anyway, hold on. It's gone so far exists. from its roots at uh, this point that it's Before we get joke. on to this, it's a parody is there itself. anything else you want to say about that whole spiel? Before we completely um, cracked? Uh, really nice. Really nice. Uh, the girl doesn't deserve shit. Just go ahead and move along with your life. I'm sorry if you still love her or whatever. But uh, she seems doesn't seem reasonable enough so you know just move on with your life go back to your fans hey maybe even you know you've reached 500 subscribers you don't even have to do a 500 subscriber video do like a 500 subscriber live stream like be like hey maybe like a week before you do the live stream put put a video up hey guess what in a week from now to celebrate 500 subscribers i'm gonna do a live stream and then you live stream for your for, for those people and you, you actually you could play civ 5 don't do you that, actually though. like if you want to lose 500 subscribers then play civ 5 like if you want to could... talk to them live then that'd be the best option anyway maybe even like i don't yeah. know you don't like it's not like you know big youtubers sometimes do like live stream q and a's you can potentially even do part of that That's just suggestions well. anyway suggestions anyway. you do what you do you do you and i can live stream. i think i can speak for the rest of us and say that none of us have really had the urge to like try and get a girlfriend or even been interested asexual motherfuckers screw you <laughs> that i mean i'm one of those people who just does not really care about girls at all i okay. mean sure there are some that are like oh right she's now. pretty cute i like her a bit you can't Maybe. it's kind of hypocritical know. for me to say this but you know you know you're probably just not interested right now can't deny like attraction basically gotta be somebody there's got to be someone you're at least thinking about, but you're not, but you know. 
that you don't give a like, fuck. You like, might not I be actively don't. pursuing them, but you've thought like, hey, it'd be interesting if I hooked up with that person. Consciously, you're like, that one, hey. that person looks... That Consciously, person's... you're playing a fucking game on your iPad. <laughs> Subconsciously, you're thinking, I gotta reproduce, I'm a male. By gotta... instinct, Ian... By instinct, you I technically... I gotta get that. my gene out can there. We, can, can we just shut up now, please? <laughs> and there's your active instinct. Hey, there it is. Alright. So, Tyler, thank you for sharing that story. That was something kind of powerful, I think. Most It shows a lot of good things. points and a lot of injustice in the world, even. Perhaps a little. It's, uh, it's... It's really been an honor coming on here, and if you want me to uh, be a guest again, just ask. Oh, we're not done yet. I don't like. I don't know if we're ending right now. We could end like as soon as you need to go, go and we'll end it then. But you know. No, I just had like I, I could go on for a few another hour. I just had two Mexican Coca Colas. I'm. Uh... Dude, hold on. In the bottle. Yeah. What about the bottle? Yes, fucking Mexican Coca-Cola in like the glass bottles are the best version of Coca-Cola you can get. Delicious. I know, right? There's another. Can I tell another funny story? Do Go it. ahead. Can I tell another funny story? Go ahead. You're the guest. Okay, so during the dance, during the dance, right? Wait, wait. I was invited to How sell my new Coca-Cola. You know, you know, during the dance, and I thought that you know what, I should have some sort of variety. So I bought two twenty-four cases of. Uh, you know, empty bottles, uh, no, of two of of two cases of Mexican Coca Cola. I emptied half of it, you know, to wash and relabel as the new Coca Cola, and the other half I kept in the cooler as Mexican Coca Cola because Mexican Coca Cola is like, you know, it's it's recognizable. It's considered the best Coca Cola. So I go out. I'm expecting to sell out of the Mexican Coca Cola before the new Coca Cola. Only one person bought the Mexican Coca-Cola, and I completely wow. sold out of new Coca-Cola. I had to give them out in cups afterwards. Wow. It was amazing. I still got one of the new Coca-Cola glass bottles. It's great. I, you know, I still have uh, on my – I'm just looking at it over there – on my uh, fucking nightstand. I have the prototype new Coca-Cola glass that I, you had me test. Oh, my gosh. You still have that? Yeah. You're awesome, man. You're amazing. <laughs> you know, this in of itself is kind of a story of how you kind of – Started selling Nuka Cola at school. Oh you yeah. Tell that? How did you get that to happen? Sure, like it. with administration and such. I just went up and I asked, saying, "Hey, I developed a soda based off a video game. Is the right I could sell it?" And the principal—I don't know if I should, you know, say her name—but the principal loved it. She loved the idea. She loved the entrepreneur. She even hugged me, and she said, "Sure, be my guest. Sell it." You're fantastic. Do it. And I was like, great. This is awesome. So I started selling it. All I did was ask. And then, you know, you made several commercials that you played over the PA. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She said, can I make an announcement out of it? And then I said, sure, that would be great. Uh, could I make like, you know, an advertisement based theme? And then she, would li she was like, sure, that would be awesome. You can make it like, you know, retro theme. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And um, if you want, I could send you like the file if I still have it, so you can add it somehow to your podcast. I mean, I can I just mean, have it so play you... right now, and then. Did it... It, it but just now played. is it oh. actually playing, or is it? What if I say play it right now? Did it happen then? No, it it just played like right now. Oh, so now I look like an asshole. No, 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 no. You you won't look like an asshole because it just played right now. Hello boys and girls, I have a very important announcement to make about a whole new revolutionary product that you simply cannot live without. Are you tired of doing the same thing every day? Do you want to have more fun? Then look no further, our boys here at vault -Tech have come up with a whole new revolutionary product. Try Nuka-Cola, a state-of-the-art drink for the future. Get it on Fridays at lunch. Yes, it's that easy. And if you think that's not enough, try Nuka Cola Quantum. It gives you the extra boost that helps your concentration. Nuka Cola, a quantum leap in taste and a little bit more. 
how many times did you just play? About seven. <laughs> Great. And luckily, I'm writing Let down timestamps, so that way I know oh, when good. to edit it in. Anyway, our our principal is surprisingly okay with some things, and then not okay with others. Like, um, we me, uh, I think on our super long wow, well, I got the mouse. Okay, on our super long podcast, we talked about school quite a lot. I don't think we ever talked I about think, the principal though. Did I we? think we did. Our principal is I think we even named her. I don't know if I'm gonna avoid it right now, just in case. Our principal is supposedly very scary when angered. However, I've never once seen any one of my teachers or principals, you know, angered. I just hear fabled I, stories. I I think they're awesome to tell the truth. They are the they're the kindest people. And from my experience from basis and in Catholic school, they are the nicest and greatest people I've been with. Our teachers They're fantastic. I love yeah. them. They're great. The teachers and the principal. I love the principal. She is so kind. She is so kind. She's amazing. Uh, uh, so the reason by the I way, say that she's kind of – she's okay with some things, not others. Like anime club is a thing at our school. And she was like, yeah, sure. Go anime. ahead. Oh, yeah. She calls it anime. Don't, don't – like <laughs> basically don't absolutely break the rules and you're pretty much set. You can kind of break them halfway, and then you're probably fine. But the thing is, she so was like, don't don't show like absolute disrespect for them. Like, yeah, you're walking around, and you notice if she's walking around, you you know actually throw your shit in the garbage. She'll just throw it on the floor. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you don't clean up your messes, she will murder you. Basically, if you don't clean up your mess, she's gonna clean you up. Like at lunchtime is what they're talking about. Pretty anyway. much. Da, oh, Jesus. Da, da. So yeah, what I'm no. talking about is like she was like full for an anime club, but uh, she is avidly against the video game club, and I don't know why, to be honest. Like, really, other George, not you, George, but another George tried to get one started in freshman, sophomore, and junior year the past three years, and she, each time she was like, "No, we're not gonna have a video game club." I don't think she ever gave like a full explanation of why. Just because most video games are just. There exactly. is a problem in that. I could foresee a lot of problems you would have as administration if you okayed something like that. There'd have True. to be a lot of fucking rules. So a general e game club would probably be better. The easiest way for it to work is not a general game club, but more like focus on like a specific game that provides a lot of educational experiences like Mario I don't know if, I don't know why I don't know why no uh, Mario social Party is a horrible example social interactions but, you're going to learn to stick I, your foot up your friend's ass for fucking doing something you took my star you bitch I, <laughs> I like, like what, uh, I like what Gamer Pie is suggesting something like you know calling it the philosophical studies of electronic media yeah but then you have to do it uh, and that's the difficult part it. Well, that's well, easy. I, just go on Wikipedia and copy and paste what <laughs> it describes the game. Ooh, no. But I'm alluding to something like, you no, know, I've, I've, I've seen stuff like, you know, like apparently Minecraft is used for education. Don't know why. There is a, but it there's is. an education version of yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, there is. It's used in Sweden, I think. How? But, you know, people. I don't know. They, made, I, they managed to make Minecraft education. Like, I don't probably, know. You learn how to do redstone. There you go. Like just I could do it in general, general construction. Like, hey, hey, hey. Remember when we used Minecraft to make that presentation? For we actually have biology. used Minecraft to do two. I used it for two presentations in my academic career in high school. I used it once for a bio, uh, bio. What was it? It was a bio theme park, and once yeah. for a math presentation. <laughs> the extent Dang, to what pretty to good. which people have. Minecraft. Or somebody made a friggin' working hard drive in Minecraft, and it was like, the why fuck? would you... Wait, a hard <laughs> drive? Oh yeah, I, I, I saw people... that. I know somebody... people make computers in Minecraft, but a hard drive? Somebody did this, and I was, I was just like, why? Why would you do this to How yourself? How many megabytes? <laughs> I don't... It was very, very low storage, but it was like... Ow! You're... Dude, what it's fucking fuck? dirt blocks! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, redstone is what a did powerful you do? thing. I How see it. It's a one. You had a contract to do that. Give us a link so one... so we can see this thing. It's a one no... kilobyte hard drive. 
Okay, wow. that makes a lot of sense now. But damn, but still, a hard it's a drive. a hard drive in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting so meta here. Somebody oh, what made the fuck? this. Yo, potentially, he could expand the storage on that hard drive and have oh, Minecraft Jesus. run on the hard drive, on the computer, <laughs> inside the computer, and it could just be but an infinite loop of like hard drives. It's like Sims. Oh my god. <laughs> This? Oh my god! Why? But what if you can play Minecraft and then have play Minecraft in Minecraft, and then in that <laughs> Minecraft you make a hard drive so that that Minecraft character can start playing Minecraft? It's just an infinite I, loop. It will never stop. I, I, I honestly think it won't work that far. I don't know, man. I didn't think fucking a hard drive would be a thing. All right, but you know that that's it has just water. That's just Thing my magical. That's just my spiel, you know. If if like you know, show show Doctor Brawley, hey, look, Minecraft's educational. Done. We have a Minecraft club. <laughs> You're gonna the wrong type of people if you call yeah, it Minecraft club. Just a bit. Like you, you're gonna attract you know the twelve year olds and and you know. No, you to know, be honest. really low subscriber count YouTubers. Yo, to be honest, even an anime club, like anime club, is not structured at all. Chris can attest to this. I, <laughs> you know, Ian yeah. as well. He's also there. Oh yeah, Ian can also attest to it. You know, I think Ian's actually there more than you, Chris. Ah, uh, raisins. Anime is life. It's not structured I've been to at every all. Single like, anime club meeting there is. So have I. Oh wait, no, you no, were. You have not. <laughs> you have not, Nick. I wasn't. You love son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there I was like have a perfect track record. There was like the first year that anime club started, which was before I went to the school. But other than that, I've been to everyone. Not every anime club event, mind you. Like I missed the Matsuri Festival one year, but I have gone to basically everything. And <laughs> because year, of this, eight. you are now talking to the game director in anime club. I make the stuff like Jeopardy and tournaments happen. By the way. We still have video game tournaments in Anime Club because it's not structured at all. Like, we play Smash. Um, Smash? We play, Time Club. Two. We play Time Bravo. Splitters. Um, Aiden was the old um, game director, but he has work most of the time now, so. Problem is the lack of actual recurring members, really. I mean, we do have, like, a last year, well, last semester, there were a lot more people going at it because, well, the college stuff hadn't started up yet, but now that the college stuff has started up... Oh, yeah, by the way, we go to a high school that has that offers some college classes, and those are usually done in the afternoon, which is when... Free anime credits, club motherfucker. Happens. Yeah. We're technically, high, we're technically college students. We're all well, college boys, you see? Uh, oh, boy. Yes, we are. College yes, we are. College boy. Yeah, boy. Well, uh, you ready all for right. some excitement in so, your pants? So... I wanted to ask something, though, Time Lord. I know you yeah. are, like, a proud patriot and everything, but do you ever watch anime? Uh, I you know you're, like, the most history. the most American person but, I know. Yeah, I, I'm so... Listen, I'm so American. I bleed red, white, and blue. My doctor told me it was pancreatic cancer, so I shot the damn commie. So, <laughs> here's my... Oh. <laughs> here's, a, here's what... Um, Here's what my here's my history. Okay, so back when I was younger, I tried watching Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, right? But <laughs> my mother wouldn't allow me to watch it because apparently they caused seizures. I find out many years later that's all because of one episode of Pokemon that never aired in the U.S. So you were robbed so, of a childhood. But dude, yes. the Pokemon, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh, so, the Yu-Gi-Mons. So the only anime I have seen in full is in fact Hitalia. And I love Hitalia so much. Until they changed the art style and the theme of the show. Back in its height, Hitalia was really good. However, my my sibling, right, has recently made me watch this other show that uh, she enjoys me roasting the show. That's why she makes me see every single episode of it. It's called Host Club. Or in high school. high school? Yeah. High school. Yo, Honey Set Pie is the best. Is now, that the. Is that the. Is that the wrong bunny? idea? It's the little guy with the bunny rabbit. He's great. We so, are so not avidly into this before you get the wrong idea. 
Oh, I was about to say because it's literally a show about a bunch of fuck boys manipulating this now, poor let me, innocent let me tell you girl something. that you dress you like a guy. <laughs> let me tell you something about anime. It has genres. That genre, that show has a genre called shoujo, which means four girls, essentially. I enjoyed well, it quite well, a bit. Quite, so I well, roast that show so hard. I could make a reaction video of each episode if the geek don't do that. The internet kind of likes that I'm show. <laughs> How? It's, it's so, great. It, it's it's actually kind of older so too. over the top. It's, it's older. So over the top. Yeah, that's why it's uh, hilarious. It? It's dog. Dude, there's, wait, there's you only think like that's one or two over the top? Good episodes. You think that's over the top? <laughs> The, a little kid is considered a weapon of mass destruction to the Japanese government. A what? weapon of mass destruction. What? I don't remember this. Uh, a guy named, what did you call it? Honey something? Honey Mori honey Senpai. Honey Mori Senpai. Just call him Honey Senpai. Honey? Honey. Like, like the fucking H -O -N -E -Y, honey. H-O-N-E-Y, honey. honey. So, so according to this one episode, right? Honey was so good in Kung Fu... He fought his father, who oh, was considered yeah! the best. He fought his father, and he, apparently the Japanese prime minister of war was present, and he saw how well Honey fought, and he told Honey to never fight in his full capacity because he was afraid that the UN would think he, we, the, he was afraid that the UN would think that Japan had a weapon of mass destruction and would ruin trade relations. <laughs> I mean, really, a weapon it's, of mass it's destruction, very... and this is like now. This is like the Tom and Jerry. You know, why doesn't you know he fucking die when he's hit with a gun? It's just you know it's supposed to be a cartoon. It's very right. fantasized and, and romanticized. And, and this kid, and, and this kid is like you know he looks like eight, and women pay to see someone that looks like eight act like an eight year old, and it's Was it creepy. Paid? It's it's. Yeah, you, they, they pay them. You paid to get into the host club. Hey, some people are and into like, that. And this innocent girl, right, who broke a vase, which she said like eighty thousand yen, which uh, is like you know, two U.S. dollars. Ten million, I believe. Ten oh, million yen. Okay, so three U.S. dollars. <laughs> like fucking three U.S. dollars. Then it was, it was ten or a million yen. One of the like two. three thousands, like. Twenty-eight dollars or something. Hey, on, let me do the conversion rate. Real quick. I don't remember what it was. I had like just yesterday. I had the conversion down for some reason. It was I needed it for something. Uh, ten million yen is worth eighty-eight thousand five hundred forty-six and fifty cents. Well, USD. I was wrong. What the? What a mess! So yeah, yes, she uh, owes a lot of money for breaking that. So base. the show, well, it's of, of course supposed to be targeted for women. It's, you know, also a comedy. It's also, you know, supposed to be heavily stupid because it is comedy. It's hilarious is what it is. It's like if fucking... No, okay. I, I hate every single character in the show, except, let me finish, except for the girl and the, 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 the only other one that cross-dresses. And I have a love-hate relationship with the uh, blonde guy, you know, the tall Yo. blonde guy who's, I think, French. Like, and you have dude. no idea. Yeah, yeah, the main dude. And I have a, also a love-hate relationship with this one crazy girl that every time she shows up, an engine comes on and she twirls from the ground. Oh, up. yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I remember that slightly. Uh, have you finished you don't, like those, you don't like the fucking flamboyantly gay twin couple? <laughs> Yo, Hikaru and Kaoru. To be honest, I don't hate them as much as I hate the others. But what the um, fuck? That means like three people. That means you specifically hate wait, like wait. three people. Who is the worst, in your opinion? The worst, in my opinion. You've got fucking, you know, the Shota tiny eight-year-old. Whoever the, the fucking one that the doesn't banker. talk, and then the fucking glasses dude. The glasses dude. Yeah, the glasses dude is a what? complete dick. He doesn't do anything though. Just exactly. Wait, wait, wait. He's a dick. wait, wait. Have you finished the se the entire series? I have like five episodes left. My sibling okay. is in Cuba, so, so she wants me to wait. Oh, so for this her is recent. I will. That you're going through this. Yeah. You will like this is recent. glasses in the next five episodes a lot more. Did. Because he is. I better because, quite frankly, he's a dick. Quite frankly, he is insane. He's a dick, and, and 
Now I'm gonna say, you know. Now can you at least tell me? Can you can you guys at least tell me? Does the girl go with the blonde guy? At yes. Least? I don't I fucking don't, know. He does. I don't good. know. Good. Don't watch. Because the twin is a heartless idiot. <laughs> like if you think like this concept's convoluted, I've got a show for you called Elfin Lead. Oh that one God. Really tough. Convolutions yeah. everywhere. I, I might get kicked out from the United States for saying this, but I do have one anime that I am interested in watching, but I never found the time to do so. Oh? Don't say it's, sort it's of. It's called right. Girls and Panzer, and it looks really cool. Oh, that's the tank one. Wait, is oh, that you the, know what? Is that the tank dating sim? It's No, no, no there is. You know, did you know there are several tank dating sims on Steam? Yes, for some reason. Why? <laughs> There's one called How? Panzer Madles Tank Dating Simulator. It's ten dollars on Steam, and I have this on my wish list just because it's so ridiculous. What a joke, dude! No, you need to see like the fucking. I want to fucking send you the Steam page for this because it. You gotta watch like the fucking. The video for it. It's fucking weird. Boy, if you like. That's the Steam page. This. It's like, I don't understand the concept. Like, you've got fucking, what, humanized tanks? And this isn't even the first one. There's a strategy game based on the same concept. What's it called? Uh, I just gave you the link. But it's called August Panzer Badalus. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Tank Data Simulator. I like how it says, the, like, the fucking description is, Pans or whatever the fuck. The first dating simulator to deliver a thoughtful look at tanks and the men who date them. When it's actually not. <laughs> There's actually several other of the games of the same type. Anime tank. Yep. It's got like this like oh. the video's got World War II footage of just tanks and then they put up cute anime girls. It's like, yep, this is the thing you're dating. I mean, they are pretty kawaii. Let's get that out of the way. Casual references to slash pole and the Holocaust. Ten out of ten. <laughs> what am I witnessing? <laughs> the genius of the no, internet. Yeah. This is the like the culmination of human intelligence. This is what the Japs came up with. I don't know if this is Japanese. This Holy might very well be a Western production. It, I don't know. It could even Terrible. be German because no. if, you know if they did come up with this. Then I'm now regretting nuking them because we messed them up. <laughs> it did something. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it did something to them. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, I mean, they were alone Why? by themselves in the world for a very long time, isolated, and then they got nuked. The mind wanders very much. Uh, how? Are people uh, are people still like touchy about that subject? What the, I, uh, I don't think so. It's been almost hundred years. Like some Japanese whole... nationalists, probably, but other than that, probably not too many people. I remember distinctly we had a conversation in I think it was history where we had this like discussion like, do you fucking think what happened in World War Two was ethical? Not. Ethical, or the sense, dropping not or bad, of the ethical. atom bomb specifically. Yes, Ew. it's like it saved lives, but at the same time, it also ravaged a country. Not my problem. Well, think of it this way: it's war. It's either our boys or their boys. They won't give up, and we most certainly won't give up either. We were either going to invade and lose our boys, or we we're going to nuke them and they'll lose their boys. I mean, that's the logical option, and that's what I think, too. But some people, especially people born into this generation who don't know war, you know, they have this look about it like that was the worst thing to do when they don't understand precisely. what was at stake. Precisely. Precisely. So, Which always precisely. annoys me a little bit. So speaking of nuclear weapons, did By the you way, know that we talk a lot about of video the games sometimes. Did you know that a lot of nuclear weapons in the U.S. run on floppy drives? Some of the most dangerous weapons of mass destruction in the entire existence of the human race runs on floppy drives? Do you want to know why that is? 
<laughs> so that can't be. Hacked. I have no idea. What actually, you just like you fucking like lagged out through that whole fucking whatever you're saying, Nick. I have no idea what you fucking he, he, said. He essentially said that our nukes are powered by flash drives, floppy drives, the old ones, floppy drives, the old ones from the '80s. You know. Oh yeah, that's that... right. And I, I looked up and I talked to a few soldiers why that is, and apparently the U.S. government and the military is afraid that if they modernize it, it could be hackable. You can't hack a flash drive from another floppy computer. drive. But anyway, floppy drive. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, the real question I have to ask you: Did you do your anime homework? Oh God! What? All right, what? so. You know, you didn't. You don't. You know, you did. You didn't do it because you didn't know about it. Basically, <laughs> we tried out. We tried out a concept. Lagging out so bad. We tried out a concept a couple of weeks ago where we all where we agree over an anime that we're gonna watch, and then we come back the oh, next. No. We come back the next week and we discuss it. Uh, the first okay, anime was Log Horizon, I don't... which was a which. Uh... Which no one. Well, I, I watched. I watched, I watched the entirety shit. of. Ian didn't watch which any. Was... Which was a semi-success as two of the, which two of the three main members were still were Ayo. actually watched it. So, so uh, then after we discussed that, we we uh we all brought an anime to the table and we decided to we all decided that we were gonna watch we all decided that we'll watch that and. That anime was Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn, and just now we discuss it, I guess. Or we don't. Uh, I'm don't too know. American for this. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I we're not gonna, like my you know, we're, we're not, not going to force you to watch Japanese no. anime. Like, plus, but you might I not be on next week, we, so you kind of pointless. We do. And he could. I will potentially. Listen, yeah. And I'll ask questions. How about that? All right, sure. Okay. So, All right, so just don't ask for translations. Mobile, mobile Suit Let's Gundam call. Unicorn oh, was thanks. Chris's suggestion, so go ahead, Chris. Do you think? Uh, let's get. Oh a wait! By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, I was thinking about this earlier today, and our system is entirely fucking stupid. We shouldn't put this to a vote when we have access to something greater. No. What? We Jeez. have the internet and random pickers. Let's not Just leave it up to RNG. Yeah, no. Yeah, like no. we can buy, we not buy, but we can get, uh, you know, roulettes. And like, if like, there's if you just look up random picker, like you put any of these things in, like you put in the names of it and then separate it by a comma, and then say pick a random item, and that's how we'll do it. It's the same RNG, just you know, a bit more fair. Yeah, but ours isn't ours isn't RNG. It's actually. People, it's actually driven by us. Like, you know, there are honestly. There I are, think I mean, we should leave it up to RNG to the make it the here, most fair. Those here are gonna. Those here are you know going to choose what they think they want to watch. They're not. On, although while all options are appealing, some are certain. Some are more appealing than others, and you know, taking out the element of human choice is kind of mean. It's not up to RNG. Yeah. It's it's still up to RNG, but it's human RNG. We're you're yeah. taking out the human. You're taking human out the human random element number generator and just keep go, You're just taking out the. You're just leaving it up to like basically yeah, random number generator, which is while it's in, while you know, I don't know. We haven't done this enough where no one's no one no one here is has been able to abuse the system. Not so far anyway. No one's, no one's abused the system yet. Nick and for, Nick Nick forced Log Horizon, and we have <laughs> one voted on anime, which may or may not. Anyways, we'll move we'll move on. We'll t we'll discuss this after. Um, let's get a roll call of who actually watched it. Nick, all of it, proudly. Do Dominic, I watched like three episodes. <laughs> and Ian. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hi. <laughs> All right, then. You watch right. nothing. Moving on in the discussion. All right. So, since Dominic didn't wa only watch like three episodes, what did you what did you think of it? Um, I didn't know what to expect from a Gundam anime, considering it's one of the genres I generally don't like. Giant mecha fucking political shit in space. 
but you know they basically i was very confused for the first episode and that persisted across all three they brought up this box a lot and i have no idea what it was not a box fuck you it's a metaphorical box it's a hexagon the hexagon is a treasure inside the box it's a fucking hexagon it's not a box there were some giant robots, some uh, things exploded, and the giant robots was pretty cool. They occasionally killed shit. It was pretty awesome, I guess. Okay. Uh, uh, so 7 I'll... out of 10, too much water. Okay. That's a reference uh, for all you guys. Dank memers. Yes? Yeah. You, you, you guys have you Twitter, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, check it now, because... um. Cruise sex scandal is trending. <laughs> Wait, what? Cruise sex scandal is Can you repeat trending. That? Hashtag cruise sex scandal is trending. On Twitter. Uh, On okay. Twitter. Listen, I don't know if you can hear me, but everything's going froggy. Froggy. <laughs> uh, all right. So <laughs> I just hear Nick going frog, and then nothing else. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh. So, 34k tweets. What the fuck? Moving. I'm dying. Oh. Nick, what did you think of it? Um, I thought it was great. Like, especially the animation. Everything was hand drawn. There was no CG. And in the mech anime, that's pretty hard to come by. With like Bubuki Barunki and um, ah, Al Noah Zero, both being CG robots and such. Having it all be hand drawn was really great to see, and those motherfuckers' hair is insane. Like, what? Uh, like it's so fluid and flowy, and because of the hand drawn nature, it just like moves. This all is the, the, the important aspect of anime, by the way. Yes, yes, it is. Oh yeah, and that motherfucker Banager, Banat, Ban, Banagier, whatever the hell you pronounce Roger. his name. Yeah, Roger Link. he is great. I love him. Best as a robot is the uh, tiny ball, but I do hate that he um, has this unhealthy obsession with Audrey. That's a bit weird. That that kind of hurt. Like that didn't that really sucks. make any sense. Like, oh yeah, I saw you that one time. I want to protect you for the rest of my life. Like, come on. Other than that, that he was great. The... Yeah. Hey, love at first sight. So, <laughs> uh. It's... Scoring, um, I give it a solid eight out of ten. I also love the um, mech designs themselves, like have oh Jesus, like especially the quad wing with those funnels. That was great. That and shit it, got anyone who doesn't se- that shit got wrecked in about five seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and Fucking um, unicorn OP motherfucker. <laughs> the battles in the show were amazing. Like, they they had so much stuff going on in them, and it all flowed logically, and the choreography alone was great. But the animation on top of that added another level to the um, fight scenes, which was great. And there was actually a purpose to each fight scene instead of just, oh yeah, we're fighting now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, the political stuff kind of got lost on me but i did understand it for the most part yeah th- yeah another one. oh oh who left iggy he's probably uh, trying to get the call to be decent i'm gonna drop out of the call for a second and invite me back yeah well you can't yeah. invite you remember that's all weird now no i can invite him i just have to right click his name oh so okay well you know one thing, uh, what uh, a couple of things really like the thing. The only thing, the only thing is like, you know, I mentioned last podcast or maybe we were just talking randomly, but like there's a, there's like there's like some there's like tiny little sort of like Easter eggs. If, if oh, you will. from the other Gundams, yeah. Yeah, they're from the other Gundams, like um, Play Twelve. Play Twelve. Uh, she's Mary Cruz is actually play twelve, which is one of the cl- play. And yeah, she was used in a war. I already invited you back. Damn it, Iggy. 
Who, who knows why he's not connecting? But there was that uh, freaking. Uh, remember when? Remember when Captain Bright looks at this photo in his photo in his room, and he's like, "Yeah, I yeah, I should do that." Armaro. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Armaro Ray is actually the original pilot from Mobile Suit Gundam that continued to appear in Zeta and Double Zeta. Uh, he he went missing in action during during the mo- uh in the movie. Mobile Suit Gundam Shars counterattack, where he and where he managed to successfully get a meteor not to hit the fucking Earth and cause a nuclear winter. Well then, oh, so that's who Shar was. He's from another Gundam. Shar is was one of the persons there. Mobile Suit Gundam Shars counterattack was when they first introduced the Psycho Frames, which were these things that enhanced new type abilities. <laughs> I don't know if you ever. I don't know if you ever caught it, Nick. But the yeah. fucking the unicorn is an entirely psycho frame. Psycho yeah, frame mobile suit. Yeah, like that's where all the glowing stuff happens. Yes. Um. You know, people people attribute the meteor not hitting the earth to psycho frame resonance bullshit. But you know, Char Char and Armor Char and Armor disappeared at that point, and, and yeah, that was that was that. I can't real. I can't honestly think up. Oh no, wait, no. There's a couple of things. Uh, full full frontal's mobile suit, the Sananju. What what it? What was its color, Nick? Full frontal's red. Yeah, oh, that's another. That, that's another thing. That's a that's another thing that that they like to do in Gundam animes. Oh, we have a we have a we have an antagonist. Fuck it, their mobile suit is. Main antagonist that's kind of like a hero to the people. Yes, you're it. He's a he has a red mobile suit now. That's a thing. But uh, yeah, but other than that, I think that, we're that's... having issues trying to get Iggy back in the he's chat. He's gonna he's gonna relaunch Chris and try to get in. So yeah, that anyway, was anyway. I, I also like the um hour long format of each episode. Like, that is a nice. Like, that really, it makes it so that each episode is about this one, like, topic, or this one, um, instance of events, which I thought was great. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, Laplace is Hexagon. Fuck you. Fuck that. I hate it so much. It's the worst thing in the show. It's a metaphorical box. It's not right? a box, though. It's a hexagon. It's a metaphorical box. The unicorn Gundam's the, the unicorn Gundam's the key. It on several key locations. Eventually, boom, he found the fucking hexagon, and that's the treasure inside. He's back on. I'm calling him. Box. That is so cool. bullshit, though. Seriously, don't call it a box yeah. when it's actually a hexagon. But it was just a metaphorical box. That doesn't matter. It's a hexagon. I refuse to call it a fucking box. Oh yeah, and that one article thing is such bullshit. Like, oh, we omitted this one article because in the future it could be a bad thing. Fuck you. Yeah, that that was kind of a I think Iggy's still having issues connecting. What do you guys think? Um, he's saying that he's not getting the invite. Considering the fact that he isn't here right now, I can't. I assume he's having connection issues. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. He's it's going to invite you. us. Okay. okay. So everyone so, just leave chat. I'll see you guys in a second. What the hell? Why can you not so- see the notification? It's your not thing? popping up for me. So your stuff was just breaking for some reason. Yeah, for some oh, reason. Right. Well, in the middle of a fucking podcast, Chris decides, like, let's fucking break down. And all of a sudden, everything, like, notifications aren't working. But I can some reason reach out to you. So there's that. Alrighty then. So, can, all right. Since we're pretty much done with discussions, since Ian didn't watch it at and... all. I was busy not failing school. 
and also watching other things, but and also watching other things, and I assume you at least recorded something for your channel. But moving on, let's all let's choose an anime to watch. Yay, yeah, let's do recommendations. Do the elevator pitches, as they call it in the company world. Uh, before we world. before we get any further, is, is there any is there, does anyone here want to resubmit their other the anime from the previous time? Because that I honestly can't. depends on what Nick does. Hmm. I can't resubmit. I can't resubmit because you know now we have. We watched it. Members. No, yeah, let's resubmit <laughs> Gundam Unicorn. Let's watch it again. I'm fine saying all the stuff about it again. Sure. Uh, so, uh, hmm. so okay. Is that? Do you guys have new suggestions, or do you want to go with the same? Technically, one? yes. Well, I, that honestly depends I think on I'll Nick. I'll have a new one as You'll well. You only need a couple. Of, you only need. You basically only need two. You need. Let's try to make this speedy. Let's All get right. past this. Make this speedy. You got. Let's say five. Write sentences. It, just write it down in chat it. and enter it. Hmm. You got five sentences. Hang on. I got like thirty tabs open of just anime. Oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. What most you people see, don't know. Nick also That's uses why. this to watch anime. He's supposed to be watching on his own. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, Higurashi, I'll leave out of this anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> you getting it? You're oh, yeah. by this time? I'm this sorry, is the shit that normally happens. I'm sorry, Time Lord. We're gonna do this fucking as fast as possible. What if we... So, how do we play this play... again? Play what? What we're doing? Essentially, what, what we're, what we're doing, doing is, like... Technically, this whole podcast was founded upon the idea of talking about anime for some reason. Hence the name Super Fun Japan Time fucking whatever. Super Fun Time what Japan if, Time Time. What yeah. if we... Yeah. And it's so uh, aptly hold on. Before, before you, you all finish... Like a better name. It up, what if we all... <laughs> I know! Just, what, if, what, what if we just all link to the fucking anime... To like the anime... My anime list page. For nah, each no. Time. Fuck it. Not as fun. Essentially, so because we base this upon anime, it's kind of obligatory that we at least once a week talk about anime in the podcast. So to do that, we decided to make sure we had something in common. So we've met this anime homework, quote unquote, kind of thing, where we pick an anime for all of us to watch. And that's just what we do, at least for the regulars of the podcast. So obviously yeah, you're not... Can, can, I make, yeah. can I make a recommendation, though? Absolutely. I Highly, highly recommend Hitalia. Has any of us not seen Hitalia? I have powers? seen Hitalia. I, I haven't. Not. Ian. I said no. Huh. All right. It's I actually own the fucking DVD for like the first two seasons. And it's, I have it signed. Oh my gosh! Someone. Oh, you're gonna love the show. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I've watched it. I've watched the first two seasons quite a lot. Because I just have it. So, you know, that's actually not that's a bad suggestion. Fine. We'll throw in fucking Italia. Italia. Alright, so... And, uh, yes, pasta. Oh, well, I just well I accidentally put that in there. Shit. There, here you go. That's Guilty Crown. Oh, Guilty Crown. Wait, what? Oh, okay. uh, actually... That is on my <laughs> list of things to watch. Did you watch that, Dama? Uh, no. I um, oh. also cannot see the chat. Hmm. <laughs> That's Look, kind of an issue. We're going to have to, talk, we're gonna have to, to say it now. So, oh, there like, we go. There we go. There we go. I see it. Finally. Jesus. I was on Nick's profile, turns out. Oh, well, then. Get off that, scrub. All right. Did There's you just fucking copy-paste the fucking shit? Did you just copy-paste the synopsis of the show? I'm not reading that. Fuck you. Tell us, Chris. This is a podcast. The people at home can't see it. No, let's make it okay. fucking novel club. We'll just sit here and read. <laughs> Alright. Fucking, here we go. You want the quick version? You want me to just read this? Quick. 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 Go. The quick version? Quick. So we got this fucking so we got this high school boy. He obtains the power to draw weapons out of people. Like he literally reaches in a motherfucker, pulls out a weapon, and is like, "This is gonna work for me now." <laughs> and so this so wait, is this... If he, what if he reaches in a motherfucker and draws out another motherfucker? Can he then draw <laughs> a motherfucker with another motherfucker? 
I don't, I don't fuck it. All right, so, th- and Guilty Crown is basically the story of him in the course, him, his role in the Japanese rebellion because fucking some huge fucking bad shit, bad shit happened, We're, bad shit happened, Japan got fucked, it got put under quarantine, kind of, and so this is like the, this is, this is his role in like that little tiny rebellion to Japan. But yeah, yeah, he just reaches in a person like you know you you know kind of you know he like reaches in a person and boom he pulls out a sword and he's like great now i get to eat, now i have a sword so let me ask you something what happens if he reaches inside himself i don't even know if that was even explored it i mean this is does I he watched, find himself like, an inner peace have you watched the show chris like all of it i have i have watched this show before and i've watched all of it yes all right all right Nick, well, your suggestion. It. Um, I came out of the car. <laughs> no, no. Again. Um, oh, I just had it in my mind. Hang on. All right, I'm Ian. So what are you fucking? Submitting? I'm so happy. I didn't have to friggin' go into. Um, I'm just gonna go with Vanguard because that's the only thing I've been watching lately. Card capture Vanguard. Card no, fight Vanguard. Card fight Vanguard. What the fuck ever? Wait, it's uh, a fucking card game anime. <laughs> it's a card game anime, and no one wants to watch it. I'm sorry. I'll watch it. I fucking am still watching it's actually GX. Quite inter- it's actually quite interesting. I'm watching Yu Gi Oh GX. If I'm willing to watch that, I'm willing to watch pretty much fucking anything. Um, what was your suggestion, Iggy? I'm waiting on you because I need to fucking know what you're suggesting so that I can suggest. All right. Um. Got a t- Chris got a t- yours was guilty crown, right? Yep. I'm glad I didn't have to pull up another one. I, I was kind of worried that either you or Dominic had already seen it, and I was just going to go, oh shit, not to pull up something else, but no, no. Like, I, I heard a song from the show, and I thought that was pretty good, so. I've had it on my list for a while. And, um... And it's all in the ground. And we current... Oh, wait, I forgot about Card Fight. Vanguard. Hang on, I'm typing it up right now. The first um, fucking like, I think short in Papalia, Noragami. where they're at the fucking table trying to fucking solve fucking like global warming. I'll go with Noragami. It's pretty good. Noragami? Noragami. Noragami. What the fuck? Is that another fucking monogatari uh, no, no. thing? Um, so Japanese gods, they're real. And, um, Uh this one low-level god is, like... Oh, is that, like, the fucking, like, 5 yen god or something? Yeah, he'll do anything for 5 yen because he's just trying to raise funds for a shrine that he eventually wants to get. And all these gods... I've watched a few episodes of this. Sweet. All these gods have... want to get followers for them. So that way they can get donations and, you know, become more powerful and such. And Noragami is about this low-level god trying to rise up through the ranks and how he interacts with all the other gods as well. Uh, and how right. his how, and the relationship between the gods and the followers. And I also right. want to watch Wait, Noragami so... Aragato, so that's why. Okay. Alright. So, Iggy, what's yours? Uh, Bible Black. <laughs> that was a joke. Well, none of us know the show, so... That's a hentai. That's like a notorious I... hentai. Alright, there we go. Why the Iggy... fuck are you fucking comment- Comment in the fucking- You commented on my profile, you dickhead. I... No, it's in the... Yeah, great, because I got the notifications I was on there. You don't see it in the group chat, motherfucker. Well, then. You, probably you don't. That. Okay, uh, my actual suggestion is erased. All right, so we have Italia, Guilty Crown, Card Fate, Vanguard, Noragami, and Erased. What are you going to tell us about Erased? All right, Erased. I think I gave the synopsis pretty much earlier on. Fucking, it's about a murder mystery about with a dude who can time travel. Oh, okay. Do you guys know the synops? The the synops? The synops? The ugh, the generalization of Italia? Um, the generalization. Uh, essentially, like, it's. It, oh yeah, I guess like, you should give that, huh? Stereotype. Um, they essentially get the stereotypes of all the world's nations, and they turn it into a singular person. Like you know, France is like you know 
super on 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 baguette and uh -huh, yeah and 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 england is like super british like super you know way british with the t it's america and, and america is like the so like the happiest dumbest character in the whole <laughs> and for some reason, it Italy is broken up into two people. I mean, in actual history, like Italy got split, right? It actually does give a fair tidbit of history. Like, I actually learned some shit that I used in history class because of that show. And uh, Germany, oh, you guys will love Germany. He is like, he's so You're, relatable. I've seen so, a lot of the show before. He is pretty good. I think my favorite was Japan. Because he's just so deadpan about everything. Also, looking, it's it's dubbed. The dub is also pretty good. Pasta. That's, that's important for some people. The dub itself is also really good. I, what? That's just what I said. Anyway, fucking oh, okay. Everyone vote twice for anyone other than yourself. Um, I do not know how to say to the group chat instead of to you. What? You click on the fucking, like, under your, under your name. Directly under your name, click on that thing. You'll see a second one of your name. Directly under my name? You know how you have your profile to your left? Yeah. Under that, you'll see your name. And then under that, you'll see your name again. Click that one. I see your name. Okay, it's probably because it's my group call. Then click my name. But, sorry, my name would be like a red phone as well as a microphone. So um, click on that. Do the rest yeah, of you guys to... see that? No. Do you see the on... red phone? You motherfucker still on my profile. I don't. Like, it says say something phone? to Iggy the Alien even after I'm clicking it. Fuck you. Yeah, but it should, it, should say, it should be saying say something to literally everybody in this chat. So It says say okay. something to Iggy okay. the okay. Alien. Okay. Dot, do dot, you dot, see dot, the same. button? But, like either my name or your name with the red phone next to it on the left and then the microphone on it yes, to the right. I do. Click somewhere Click in that vicinity. Do you hear this? This is me clicking. It's furious. Okay, clicking. do you see like our five of our profile pictures or something? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so look at Why? the bottom. Okay, look at the bottom. You see an upside down red phone and a thing that looks like a chain. And the thing next to it that looks like, you know, a speech bubble. Yes. You see that, right? That. Yes. Click the speech bubble. Show chat, yes. That's it. There you go. All right. Did the rest of you, you guys still see send that? still to me, you motherfucker. <laughs> I don't hey, know. Why do you use that roulette wheel now? No, no. All right. I can just send. verbally say. I guess. Yes, it, all right. Verbally say. Everyone no. shouted at the same time. <laughs> no, no. Verbally say it and I'll uh, record Oh yeah, it. also um, you can't vote for your own choice. I said that. So, vote for anyone but yourself and do two votes. Nick, what do you vote for? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for... Well, I'll go last. Hang on, I'll... I'll go last because it could color your guys' votes. Have we all... Alright, have we all it's decided? Anyway. Um, have we and all like, decided? Uh, yeah, I basically, yeah. I've all decided. Right. I've decided. Ian? Ian, Basically, Ian's put it in chat. I can see Oh, alright. And... I already typed it in the chat. Great. There, Time go. Lord. Uh, Time Lord came here. Um... Yeah. Yes. Alright. Oh, gosh you hear damn it. it. You type hey. in the... Can you actually type in the chat? Oh my gosh! I also like how you mess that up, Dominic. You got oh. plus one knee and plus one time. Because Noragami is actually Nyx. Yo. I know Noragami's Nyx. He said plus one Chris, plus one Time Lord Gamer. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong about that? There's nothing uh, wrong. He's saying uh, plus one to Hitalia and plus one to Chris's suggestion. I'm okay. giving pluses and suggestions. What the fuck is wrong? I don't. Gosh, damn. There's nothing wrong. I broke. Jeez. I fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, um, you fucking somehow picked um, my suggestion. That's wrong. I'm voting for guilty ground and erased, by the way. All right. Okay. So Nick. So currently, guilty ground's mm -hmm. winning. If fucking Chris, would you vote? I think it's. 
pretty much unanimous. I've watched right Guilt. I've watched Guilty Crown, by the way. Just so you know. Okay. Great. Yeah, so but now... it's not like it's, but he doesn't watch the shit anyway. Okay. So he didn't watch let me get this straight here. Wait. Okay. So currently, Guilty Crown's winning. Chris, what the hell was your suggestion? Or like, what was your fucking thing? Guilty Crown. Your vote. I no, your vote. Oh, vote. Why did we all go That's one not... at a time? What the hell? I don't know. How should I know? This was your idea. I know, and it went horribly wrong. Like, the second week in practice, somehow. It went I fine the first time. All right. Noragami and Erased. So we currently have three for Guilty Crown, two for Noragami, and two for Erased. How do we have three for Guilty Crown? I... Yeah, he's here. The last... I'm DLG. Time Lord Are you Gamer. sure I don't hear him? Okay. Meme. We have yeah, to okay, that out. What are, what are your choices? Meme. Or do you not do? You, or do you not plan on showing up? So wait a minute. Week? So a race has two. Uh, I'm, not, fucking I'm not voting. Noragami has not, two. Not voting. <laughs> He's not voting. So all right. Guilty so crown. guilty crown wins. Chris, you have successfully wait, won how does, twice. Wait, in... wait, what? How did guilty crown win? I over voted for fucking... guilty crown. Ian voted for guilty crown. You voted for guilty crown. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? You forgot. Well then. There we go. We're gonna watch Guilty Crown. Hey, mm. Guilty Crown's pretty cool. That's over. Let's move on. Do we do we move on to the other plan section so that way we can? Okay, the... maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring that back on an actual regular podcast. You know, kind of guest podcasts are rare and in, few and far in between. Granted, we've had two bat bro in a row, but you know that's really rare. That's like finding a diamond in an oyster. I found one the other day. What are you talking about? I mean, you know, the ones that don't fucking abuse the fucking luck stat. Oh, all right, all right. I, I see where you come from. Yeah. Yeah. So let's actually just do whatever as opposed to reading fan fiction, which, by the way, TLG, we have a fan fiction reading section. It's awful. Why? Why? Because. Did you, okay. Oh, wait. Not, it's not story. about us. It's about the show. It's not about, about us. That should be preference. By the way, there's news on Pokemon Go. I put it in the fucking chat. Look at that shit. Oh boy, Pokemon Go news. Wow. I, think it's, I mean, this is a video game. Let's talk about a video game for once. That um, looks weird. Can I, can I recommend... Um, there's a Donald Trump fanfiction you guys need to read. Oh. Um, okay. Is this the sexual one you're <laughs> talking about? It's the one with Egyptian cotton. Can you link it? If you I'll like it, we it. will read it. Give me a minute. And we will play it out like a fucking Broadway play. And one hand went on the steering wheel, the other on his thigh. That's a musical <laughs> reference that the kids will get. Ooh, wow! A, I believe there is a fan fiction between Mickey Mouse and Snoop Dogg. Huh? There, oh boy. there is going to be... Feast. <sighs> Ian, you seem very upset by this. No, I'm just tired. That was like the sigh of a man very disappointed in his life choices that <laughs> led him to his current point. No, that was the sigh of someone who's just extremely tired because it's 1.30 in the morning. I mean, quite honestly, you they... have a record of just leaving in the middle of the podcast anyway. Found it. That's because, I, that's because we do it so late at night that I just like end up having to go to bed. Because I'm tired. All right. How about we make this the last thing, man? Depending on depending on how long this. Is, oh shit! This is long. Holy fuck! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the fan fiction. Let's. It's long as dicks, Let's dude. See how long it dicks is. are long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't. I I think you guys should do it on on a later date. But to be honest, this is the best. No, we're reading this now. Well, on, on, I just want to read this one thing. I went to the bottom. Just. Trump walked over to the unconscious body of the enraged chief and lifted him up, gave him a smooch on the lips. How dirty, Donald thought. <laughs> he had never smooched anyone on the lips before. It is the sexual he threw, one. <laughs> he threw Ramsey back down on the floor and proceeded to rip an otherworldly fart on Gordon's face. Upon closer examination, you could quietly hear, this cool Jesus knows what's up. What? <laughs> Yo, this got made into a book and is being sold on Amazon. Let me find it. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, yeah, we're definitely reading this. <laughs> Not now, probably, because this is hella long. No, we're reading it now. Fuck yeah, you. this is, like, we couldn't fucking read all of this. This is hella long. We're reading can, all of it. Can I at least, can I at least go to bed now? Because I'm quite uh, tired. That's what I'm saying. Bed. Maybe we should just end all it now. Right. If the guest is leaving, we gotta end. Fucking roll. All right, so wait, 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 thank sorry. you, Hang Mr. Time Lord. Are you fucking kidding? This is the book. Hey, no, no. Hey, thanks for posting that on my profile again, and again. Fuck! <laughs> I can't send it to the rest of the group. I'm sorry. Why do you keep putting slashes? So that way they can see it on the recording. Anyway. I know I can copy the link. You realize? Just send it. To them. Hey, look! I'm gonna fucking paste it in the correct area, and then we'll fucking do a slash as you do it. Ooh. So, we would like to thank you guys for watching. No. Well, not watching, listening. We would like to thank you guys for listening, and we will see you hey, next you don't even, time. Don't take that as a fucking cue. He just does that. It's like he doesn't even conduct anything related to the podcast, so. I do contribute. I do contribute to the podcast. Conduct. I'm just quiet. Conduct. Very rarely. Whatever, shut up. Well, that is anyway. what he said. Conduct, not converse. Well, you got it wrong too. What? What did you he say? Said, yeah. I said conduct. He said contribute. You said converse. <laughs> How about everyone just shut up when we go to I bed? Think you're, okay. You. Okay. So, TLG, thanks for being here and sharing your stories. Yes. Uh, yeah. I well, thank you very for much listening. was engaged by you. Ooh. <laughs> Are you engaged? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, don't you, dear boy. Yeah, yeah, let's get it on. You know, so the links. I know to, where you live. The links to all okay. our channels will be just, in the description. If Nick's not a lazy asshole, especially yes, and the also guest, links guest to what star, we talked Mr. TLG. about. And be... if you guys want me to edit this, I will because no, um, no, I, I got quite frankly, I don't very worry. much want to. I mean, you could leave it then. If you can just send me the um, like ad that you made. For, uh, the new oh, thing. he sent it to me. I'll give it to you. All right. Yeah, it works. So, yeah, thank you again, Mr. TLG. And, uh, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll wrap it up. Yeah. We would like to thank you guys for watching. And, and you're doing it again for some fucking reason. Next time. I don't know it why you're doing the it, outro. It, it doesn't it's end not until Nick job. does it. Seriously. I'm the one in control here. I can make He's this podcast the... last in eternity. He's I am the, the ruler ends. of your miserable lives. I mean, by that point, we just all leave. Just fucking I'm, end it now. Yeah, we, we, we can leave now. Well, no, we can't. End it. I haven't ended the podcast. Maha. Ha ha. Fucker. Ha ha. Dude, please just end it so we can go to bed. Ha ha. I could. But then again, we could still talk about other things like you, yo. Thank you for I, watching. Really? We'll see you next time. Uh, Goodbye. Yeah, brag, 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 uh, whatever. Thank you all for watching, and I'm still really bad. <laughs> well, now I have to go I'm through sorry. it again. I had to do that. I'm really sorry. Now I have to go through it again. You wanted it to we end, like the but it's continuing because of your we were like idiocy, Dominic. We were. We would like to no, thank no, no, you guys no, no. for watching, <laughs> and we will see you. I'm next so time. sorry, TLG. That you had to see this. <laughs> thank you. You can, you can leave this is at beautiful. any point you want. Thank you just all. For just letting you know. Let me do the outro if you want to leave. <laughs> you can't do the I, intro. You can't do the outro. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Shut up. How, how, it's already how we do, how, We've gone to five how, before. How, I don't have how, to leave. How, hey, how, 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 how about we actually? How about we do Reason. the outro in in uh, what is? Uh, no, yeah, we're not doing do it in unison. unison. Not in unison. Yes, thank you. No, not in unison. No, sure, we'll do. <laughs> we could do it in unison. We're like not doing it in unison. Fucking idiots! Did anybody catch that fucking Team Four Star Gaming shit? They did. Oh my gosh, Nick! What? Yeah, that's what I thought. It was it was silent, and then you didn't do anything, and we're we're all still sitting. <laughs> I'm gonna continue yeah, talking awesome. because you're not nothing is gonna get done. No, I mean, you started you, another topic, and I was like, "Oh, what's that?" Do you like, ask to go to bed? Come on now. All right, just then leave. shut up, and I'll finish it. All right. Jeez. Thank you all for watching. 
and I'm still really bad at outros.